What's going on, you guys? My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you my brand new 2021 Dodge Ram Bighorn. All right, guys, before we get started, make sure you come over, click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, even if it's just to say what's up. It helps the channel out so much, guys. Let's talk about this thing. Guys, this is my 2021 Dodge Ram 1500 Bighorn four-wheel drive. This is my brand new truck. I'm 42 years old, never owned a new vehicle in my life. But thankfully, the good Lord has led us into the washing business, and business has been very good. Uh, so I was able to trade in my work van and get this thing right here. And let me just tell you, it's bad. It's bad, 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 okay? This thing has the 5.7 Hemi in it. I haven't really made up my mind yet if I want to put any lettering on this uh, with my logos and all that. I'm, I'm tempted to invest into an enclosed trailer uh, with all of my branding and everything on the side of it instead of messing my truck up. But, you know, it's a rolling billboard. You can't pay for it if you don't have money coming in. So I had to have to, have to do some thinking on that one. But customization-wise, all I really want to do to it is I'm going to level it about two and a half inches and i'm going to put some like 285 60 uh, 20 probably some toyo open country all-terrain tires on here just to make it look a little tougher but uh it's bad man let me give you guys a walk around So for the quick walk around guys, I like my trucks to have a lot of chrome on the front and it's because we have a lot of love bugs down here in Georgia and uh, some rather large insects like to hit the front of the vehicles. And I just don't like my paint to get messed up, but at least with chrome, I could put some uh, chrome polish and it'll pull the bugs off. Um, but yeah, the front end is like really sharp man. I like it. Going around the side, guys, it's got 20-inch wheels on it. Like I said, I'm going to put some 285 uh, 60s on here, uh, some Toyo Open Countries. And it's got these uh, two different mirrors. It's got your regular mirror and then your, like, your trailer mirror. Um, I mean, it's just it's the truck, guys. I'll show you what this back glass does in just a minute. I don't have a bed liner just yet. That's to come. The back has factory dual exhaust, man, and they sound really smooth. I mean, it's not loud. I don't like a loud exhaust because uh, I like to deer hunt and I like to creep in the woods quietly. Uh, got the trailer connections, whichever way we need to go with it. It's got both. Backup cameras right here, the tailgate. Push it and it lets down on its own. Kind of nice. Ignore my deer corn bags, guys. Uh, and that's pretty much the outside. Uh, let's check out the inside now. All right, so this is the inside, guys. I wanted to show you guys what the back glass does. It actually opens electronically right here. Pretty cool. I tried to open it too much. I don't want the seals to mess up. Um, got plenty of room for my kids. Armrest lets down or it lets up. One thing that they did with this truck is, well, there's a couple things. Um, they had the they had the uh the worker in mind when they when they did this truck a lot of people their vehicle is their office so there's plenty of room to write right here but if you look right here guys it's a mess right a second but this thing actually slides right here let me see where i'm at there we go this slides and this is really 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 deep and it's set up so that you can actually have files and stuff in here it's designed for, for people with that, that operate their business out of their vehicle. I mean, it's got storage, it moves. I mean, when you slide this up, it's got all this room down here. Um, I've been hunting, so I got my binoculars and stuff, but it's got these that'll hold your iPhone. It's got all these auxiliary things. It's got this really big touch screen right here, guys. This is my hand. I mean, that's a, a very good touch screen. A um, couple features before we get to that. When you're pulling a heavy trailer, you can hit this toe and it kind of drops down the gearing on, on the transmission so it doesn't put a strain on it. 
Um, but this is like the most awesome thing for people who pull a trailer. So I can go to controls and when I hit the backup camera, it's like HD, right? But you see my ball right here where I hook my trailer up? Check this out. I can zoom in on it. So when I'm backing my trailer up, I can see exactly where I am. Really, 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 really cool, man. It's got a lot of other features, guys. You can see it's four wheel drive. I mean, it's just, it's got a, a, like electronic uh, emergency brake, things like that. But I mean, it's just a big truck, dude. All kinds of goodies and lights and stuff. One little cool feature if you got kids, man, it's got this little slot right here. It goes all the way across. You can actually take your iPad, take it out of the case and stick it in there and the kids can watch TV. So yeah, it's a work truck, but we're gonna be using it for a family vehicle as well. And uh, until we get my wife's ride, but that's that's next. Um, oh yeah, it's got a couple glove boxes here. It's got one down here, it's got a lot of storage, and then it's got this one. Check this out. Boop. Pretty cool, ain't it? But I like it, guys. What do you guys think, man? Um, like I said, I'm gonna put some uh, bigger tires on it and a little bit of a, a lift, a leveling kit on the front just to make it a little more tougher. I had to trade the van in. A lot of you guys are, are like, man, why would you trade your van for something that's gonna drink a lot of gas? This this truck really isn't that bad on gas to be as big as it is. Um, I think I'm averaging 18 miles to the gallon right now and I've been driving it. I've been driving it on big roads and I've been all the way up to like the deer stand back in the woods with it. And I've already killed a uh, really good seven pointer and loaded him up and hauled him to the, to the uh, processing center. So I've been putting some mileage on it and driving it and the gas is not terrible. The van was really good on gas guys, but the van was struggling to pull the trailer and it started to kind of skip a little bit with the transmission. And guys, if, if, if we're not rolling, if that trailer's not pulling up to houses to wash or up to commercial properties to wash, we're not making any money. So we got to stay where we're rolling. Um, and I got this truck with trading and everything and my payment only went up like $300 a month. I know that's a lot, but you know, it's something we had to do and we were in a position to do it. So now we just got to get out there and, and keep grinding and pay for it. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying a new truck if you guys are just starting out, unless you have a full-time job and your bills are intact, you know, that's you and your own personal stuff. But, um, I've been busting my freaking tail for two years, man. We have been rebuilding from a, a bankruptcy like five or six years ago and, and we have worked hard to get to this point and by god we got it and we wanted to do it and reward ourselves and we can take a lot of family trips in this and it's four-wheel drive so we can go down to florida and drive on the beach and some beaches and pull boats and go camping and do all kinds of other stuff and we can work and make some money man and that's really cool and uh with me with my back the way it is uh this is a really comfortable comfortable ride big shout out to jimmy Britt, uh chrysler dodge jeep ram they got all that cdjr stuff now up in dublin georgia uh i couldn't have got a better deal on this truck i tried talking with other local dealerships and they were really not in the in the mood to help me at all but these people were and that's why they got my business and they will continue to get my business as long as they uh continue to do good deals like they did on this one um i am excited guys i really 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 am so what do you guys think about my new truck guys make sure you leave me a comment let me know i like to hear from you guys uh thank you again for letting us hit six thousand subscribers this week uh now we're shooting for ten thousand guys let's let's just get it done and and make it happen so if you guys are watching you haven't subscribed please do so uh, it helps the channel out a ton um if there's any videos you guys want to see me make uh, leave them in the comment section down below guys. Let me know what you guys want to see um, We've been wide open with work and this is like the best month we've had since we started And that's one of the reasons we're sitting in this vehicle right now because we've been doing really 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 good We have been blessed beyond belief um, A little side note guys my business would not have grown the way it is if I did not have That skid from Southeast Softwash when Cody did what he did for me and my family man uh, it, it completely transformed my entire business. We've been able to take on bigger jobs and it's just been amazing. It's been awesome. So big shout out to Cody out at Southeast Softwash again, man. You guys have really blessed me and my family and put us in a position to do something like this. 
And I know Cody's got a lot of a lot of haters out there uh, running him in the ground and stuff. But he's been making YouTube videos about him and all that, man. And we don't have time for that in this world. Let's keep it positive, man. Keep it positive vibes. Anyway, let me know what you think about my truck, guys. What would you do to it? Anything to customization? Would you put letters on it? Let me know, man. God bless.